Well, welcome back again. Hey, I found an awesome little uh, home movie my grandfather took on a trip to Ensenada with the family in 1940. Here they stayed at the uh, El Moro cabins, which I believe must be on Punta Moro, the point you, uh, you round as you see Ensenada for the first time. And by the way, Ensenada, the name itself, means bay. Originally it was called uh, Ensenada de Todos Santos, uh, named after the uh, Todos Santos Islands off the coast. And eventually at the turn of the century, I think they just plain shortened it to Ensenada. Uh, now there is my mom sitting in the front, my uncle in the back, uh, another couple I don't recognize, but uh, they're sitting at their cabin there at El Moro Cabins, which I believe was owned by uh, uh, Husongs, or they ran it at least. Now you see that the cabins there, they must have been in that last one you saw. Well, here's my grandmother and my uncle standing in front of the statue of Miguel Hidalgo, uh, who's considered the, uh, the father of, the, uh, Mexi of Mexican independence. Uh, he was a Roman Catholic priest and a revolutionary leader. Now, right down the street from the statue, you'll, you'll see a, a very recognizable cantina, Who Songs? And I know a lot of my friends have uh, frequented it. Now, here is what it looked like in 1908. It was actually put in in 1892. Well, there's some hoodlums there you might find at any time at, at Who Songs. Here's what it looks like today. It's in the same place it's been for the last 130 years. Now, here we have some burrows, um, hauling some wood, obviously. Uh, fun fact here, uh, all burrows are donkeys, but not all donkeys are burrows. But you can figure that one out later. Now, you'll see here in a second a car on the side of the road. There it is right there. You'll see the gold license plate. That's my grandparents' car. It's a 1940 license plate. Now, eventually, they made their way down to the beach. They, the bridge you just saw was over the Arroyo Ensenada. Uh, wide open beach, not a heck of a lot in, in Ensenada at this time. Probably only about, well, between five and 10,000 people, maybe around 10,000 people. You'll look at the wide open beach. Now that looks so different now. There's a full marina, the cruise ships dock there. There's my grandmother, my grandfather got her to walk along that little seawall. And you see a hotel in the background. Now you see it in the center of the picture here right now too. That hotel is called the Hotel Playa de Ensenada. It was built in 1930 and, and uh, professional boxer uh, Jack Dempsey uh, was kind of the public face behind that resort. And uh, you see here, they must have, my grandparents must have taken a walk through uh, the hotel. It was at one point, at least at that time, one of the most prestigious hotels in Mexico. And uh, it, was, uh, it was built for tourists. Uh, again, the, the depression hit in the, in the late 20s, and then you also had uh, prohibition, so people were looking for places to gamble, to drink, and uh, to party. Now, the roads were really bad getting all the way down to Ensenada. It started in Tijuana, then Rosarita, but uh, uh, they made their way down there anyways. Uh, now, there's my uncle, another scene set up by my grandfather, uh, the family sitting there um, in front of one of the structures. I think that, that structure is still there. Uh, the hotel eventually closed in 64. It was used by troops during, during World War II, but most of the, of the hotel was, was saved and turned into a community center, a cultural and civic center. And you'll see that picture here in just a moment. Um, and I, I believe that structure is there. There's what it looks like today, much like what it looked like then. I know all the rooms had hand-painted uh, historical kind of paintings. Now you see El Moro cabins on the point. You drive down the road, you enter town, you see the statue of Miguel Hidalgo. There's Husongs in the Hotel Playa de Ensenada. You'd never even recognize the area. You see it there in the background. And again, there'd be a big marina, cruise ships, cargo ships. Uh, it's, it's now, I think it's the second largest port in Mexico. And uh, it, uh, again, the place looks very different. And I think they're back at the, at Punta Moro, and that's probably a navigation, maybe it's a foghorn or something, I have no idea. My grandfather was intrigued with anything that had to do with the ocean. Uh, there's the coastline right out at Punta Moro looking north. And it looks relatively unchanged, except there's some expensive homes and hotels there. 
All right. Well, thanks for hanging in there again. Uh, aloha. <laughs> <laughs>